Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you five things that you need to know about the FE Reference Handbook. Also, make sure you sign up on my website for some free practice problems and some cheat sheet to help you with your exam. Now, I know a lot of you have already signed up and you guys are waiting on my email. I promise you I will get to them by the end of this week. A lot of my students are about to take their FE exam and so I've just been busy working with them and helping them, making sure that they are ready for their test. At the end of this video, I have some announcements about the FE exam prep course, so make sure you watch until the end. Now, for more videos covering engineering problems or FE exam questions, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. So the first question is, which FE reference handbook are you using? So I realize that a lot of students are using the oldest edition. So make sure you are using the FE Reference Handbook 9.5 version because that is the latest version and that's what you're going to have on your exam. Now, how can you get the FE Reference Handbook? Well, it's actually really easy. Go to the NCS website, log in or sign up and you can download it for free. If you guys want to see a video where I go over the equations that are on the Reference Handbook and covering the important equations for your FE exam, let me know in the comments below. Now, when you're going to sign up and log in on the NCS website, they might ask you if you want to purchase the book. So should you buy it? The answer is no, don't buy it because on the FE exam, you're gonna have a PDF format and you don't wanna get used to going over the equations as a hard copy because that's different than what you're gonna have on the actual exam. You want to mimic the environment as much as possible when you're studying so that you prepare yourself mentally for the exam. Now, if you guys want to get used to the FE exam format or just know how the FE exam screen looks like, make sure you guys check one of my videos where I talk about that and I go over the format, how your screen is going to look like and all that. Also, I have another video that I recommend that you guys check on how the search box looks like on the reference handbook on your exam. It's different than control F, so you may wanna check that video as well. Cause you wanna make sure that you are ready for this exam, exactly how your screen is going to look like, what kind of material you're gonna have, what you're allowed to have. So as you guys probably know, you're only allowed to have the calculator. So it's really important that when you're studying, you mimic that environment so that you prepare yourself mentally for this test. Now, the fourth question is when to use the reference handbook? All the time. When you are studying for your FE exam, always have your reference handbook open. If you are using, let's say, Linder book book or some other book that you're using, make sure that reference handbook is always open and whenever equation you use, make sure you try to find it on the reference handbook so that your brain remembers where the equations are. It's going to help you on your exam to be a little faster when it comes to solving the problems. Now, is the NCS releasing a new FE reference handbook? Yes, they are going to release it. I think around January, they didn't really say when they're going to release it, but it's not going to be effective till June 30th, 2020. What does that mean? So if you take your FE exam or if you have it scheduled before June 30th, 30th, 2020, you can use the old reference handbook. That's what you're going to have on your exam. Now, if your exam is scheduled after June 30th, 2020, then you might want to use the newest edition or the newest FE reference handbook, which they're going to release soon. A lot of you has been asking me about the FE exam prep course. And after I launched the static scores, I got some amazing feedbacks. My students loved it. And it's actually helped a lot of students pass their exam because statics is important for a lot of engineering topics like mechanics of materials, dynamics, fluid mechanics, structural design, structural concrete, and so on. So it's important to understand statics, you know, to help you understand the other engineering topics as well. Now, after I launched the statics course, I realized that I have some amazing problems that I can share with you guys to help you with your exam. And those problems I've actually used myself and my students, a lot of my students use the exact material because I tutor them those materials and they pass their FE exam. And that's when I decided to launch the FE Bytes course. So this course pretty much covers all that material that I use and my students use to pass their exam. So for the FE Bytes course, I have two, one for the morning session and the other one is for the afternoon session. For the morning session, I already launched it and it covers math, probability and statistics, mechanics of materials, statics, engineering, econ, ethics, computational tools, fluid mechanics, 
mechanics of materials i've already already said that you guys get it all the morning sessions so if you are taking fe mechanical if you have discipline that could work for you as well because those topics are in your exam too now with this course i will be uploading more and more problems every week or every month depends on the how many problems i have because the fe exam questions always has unique questions and there are so much things to cover so i gotta make sure that you are ready for your test so i'll be uploading more and more problems every week or every month depends on how many questions i have so what does that mean is that the price of the course will increase as the value of the course increases as i upload more and more problems the price will increase as well so if you are truly interested in the course this is really the best time to buy it before i upload more problems and before i increase the price for the fe bytes afternoon session i will launch it sometime in the next few weeks so i'm still working on it and it's going to be the same exact thing. I will be uploading more and more problems every week or every month. And also, if you are interested, make sure you get it as soon as I launch it. So that way you get the best deal because as I upload more and more problems, the price will increase. Now, that's all I'm going to say about the FE exam prep course. I will probably post a video just talking about the FE Bytes course. I just wanted to mention it here because you guys have been asking me a lot about the course and also because I wanted you guys to get it like if you are interested I want you guys to get it like now before I increase the price now if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday happy holidays good luck with your studying and I will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah,